My friends, welcome back. We're playing EU4 as Cologne. As you can see, my income is back at a positive. Because we need to build up, there is actually no need to keep my armies at a high maintenance. So, yeah, why not? Also, are, are you suppressing rebels? Are you doing that? The war exhaust is a bit high, though. Look, and I don't care. If they spring, they spring, and I'll deal with them accordingly. Um, for now, let's see. Technology. And technology is quite expensive. I don't know how to get this. It is such a long part away. I think all of the countries are just going to have to deal with the fact that it's going to be uh, annoying. Everyone is now supporting Austria. I wonder how Austria is going to react to me. Taking a chunk out of um, Munster. But he is still my ally. Uh, he is still Catholic. Um, let's see. Yeah, there is a Protestant center of reformation there. And yeah, I wonder what they will do. Local unrest. What I kind of hope that is going to happen is uh, Austria becomes Protestant. That would be ideal. Now, we have built up a nice treasury. And I think it is time that... Oh, cancel. Let's just repay a loan. That would be ideal. Build up some more while building up with Munster. And uh, we got a 21 on East Frasia. Which is nice. Let's get you back. Oh no. Um, let us... Oh damn. Frisia, the Renaissance Survey, local unrest. Plus eight. <sighs> eight is quite a bit. Um, negative 3.6. So I could actually take this for three point. 4.3 and not lose as much yeah not having those advisors getting rid of my loans is not so bad this is a, a is a bit of a thing though i was kind of hoping we could get rid of it let us do we'll wait for the support of the clerisy prestige almost back uh, power projection is just dropping like a stone I don't like that. So, let's see. Verda. Let's claim more on Verda. And then we'll go towards Lundberg, who is allied with Baden, Mecklenburg, and Pomerania. Yeah, they could be quite scary, I guess. Uh, new aspect of the faith. Let's take a look. Yearly prestige, devotion. Ideal cost. National unrest. Let's get the national unrest. Because that would um, help with my peasant problem. Yeah, it's already down to three. I don't know if these will spring. Now, Groningen is, Groningen is actually not doing too good. So, once we hit about 15, we'll increase our manpower again. And we'll have to deal with this ASAP. Just knock them out. Siege this down. Take this over. Prepare for a leech to attack us. Look at Burgundy. He's been just eating away. Could you stop treating me hostile? Hmm. I don't know. Burgundy is going to be a problem. And... Archon and Oldenbrook are your alliances. Yeah, I think most likely if it comes to a war... My allies would be helping, right? And we have four out of five. Do we invest in another alliance? So, Lithuania is... Are you eating away? Is this from Mo uh, Moscow? Or was it once yours?
And you are at war with Denmark. You're still a vassal. I kind of hope that you would be going for independence. Poland. You are not a ally at the moment. You have Moldavia. Um, and the Ottomans. So... Hmm. But Poland is still nice. They do have a truce for a few more years. Uh, we don't have built up anything else. Alliance with Mecklenburg and you have a royal marriage with Portugal. Or actually with Poland. This could spring something. Tech 9, Tech 8, Tech 9, Tech 10 like me. Could we do an alliance with them? No. Now you should love me. England, that won't be good because of Castile. You know, perhaps Denmark. Hmm, not of the same religion. Which is unfortunate. We have an alliance with Saxony. We could go with Paul Morania. Who is your ally? Eh, no. I'm very much leaning towards Lithuania. Although you rivaled with Austria. I kind of don't want to deal with Austria. And Poland, you're probably still pissed. I dishonored their alliance. Uh, trust, yeah. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Okay, I, I guess I just have to face it that a new alliance is uh, not going to work out anytime soon. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen anytime soon. It's unfortunate. It is. It truly is unfortunate. Uh, let's just make sure that we tick up more with Moonster. And yeah, we'll take this and we'll just start eating away some more. This is inevitable. Burgundy is currently at war with France and Scotland. Uh, that's how strong they currently are. Uh, let's take a look here, Burgundy. Thirty-five k, damn. And France is having thirty. Scotland is, yeah, almost nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm losing money here. Fleet maintenance go up. Uh, you guys, can we explore with you? No, we need an explorer. And in order for us to gain an explorer, we need to get the idea group. So that's not happening anytime soon. Go ahead. Protect trade here in... Somewhere. The English Channel, probably. I'm not sure if this is correct. Or Lubeck. Not sure this is right. We're collecting in England. So you are going to be protecting trade over there. Yeah, that just doubled it up. Yeah, that was um, that was not true. He was lying. Uh, we're getting close to getting another of the loans out. Uh, but we also want to build up some income for the coming war. So we don't have to deal 
uh, with the um, the negatives again. We'll have to maintain this fort because of Leech here. I don't want um, Cologne to fall or Colon. Mm, we still have these two free advisor slots we need to fill. <sighs> now we're still making two, right? So we'll get the national men tax. That would... No. We'll get you. And we'll get... Morale of navies? No. Don't be weird. 1.4 though. Damn, dude. Why so expensive? Let's go with the diplomatic reputation. We do need the monarch points. Is it inflation? No, it, it, it will go down by two. We're still making more than a docket. However, oh damn, of course, of course, now we gain corruption and we will go into a negative. Uh, luckily for us, it's for six months, but oof, it's still a lot. It is still a lot and we need to increase the army maintenance again to deal with this war. I'm hoping for a short war. Yeah, but a man can dream, I guess. Uh, we'll take the one claim and build up for the next one. Here we go, another renewal. Yes, I we have loans. 0 0.39. It's not that much, actually. Improve relations plus 25. Yeah, that would be nice. I would like to finish both of these. And go to 10. And probably get innovative ideas. I've been thinking about this one. Since the tech cost negative 10. And the institutional spread. But war exhaust negative. Innovativeness gain. And prestige decay. Uh, no. Take that one. Another renewal. 63. Where did we get that money again from? Kind of don't want to do that right now. <laughs> don't know where I got it, but kind of don't want to deal with it right now. Can we fix this? No, we cannot. Uh, considering the amount of money we currently have. Uh, we can still raid. Over here. I think it's going to be time. Well, oh, shortly. Shortly. This one's idle. I don't know where you were going in, but let's take a look here. Allies, outraged countries. No one was outraged. Well, that's good news. So, we have one guy open. Go here and build up the spy network. Uh, we need 25, right? Yes, we do. 36, we're making money again. The corruption is uh, gone. We are on 18. Yeah, we're about to lose a lot. About. Let's save up some more. The disloyalty. The nobility is almost gone. It's just happy again, almost. We'll not take the, uh, the 10. I don't think that is uh, what we need. We'll just save up again. And perhaps we can actually get that uh, additional tick. In the improved relations plus 25. Okay. That is quite nice. How is this going? Yeah. So I'm I'm still not sure. With a republic. Or a crowned ruler. The royal marriage is quite nice. And perhaps a royal marriage with uh, Burgundy. If that was possible. It should be just in here somewhere, but we'll deal with that later. I'm just hoping that Burgundy... If, if Burgundy could become an ally, that would have been very nice. England, not many allies. France, but these guys are no longer at war. And that is very much scary. Uh, Castile has a permanent claim, making him a very, very good ally. Perhaps we should do... An alliance with France. England, Burgundy and Venice. 
You currently have a truce. No, wait a minute. This would not be so bad. We'll get a alliance with friends, even though he's quite horrible at the moment. But it would be nice against like a country like Burgundy. Anyone that you hate that is my ally. Austria. But you're not rivals. Yeah, I think France is a good contester still. I will not honor the call for a war though. Uh, let me be very honest about that. I don't need that. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go. It's I've been talking for more than enough during this episode. Let's build up. Let's get a claim on Munster. And we'll have to deal with you. Hesse and Leech. No, not too scary. Let's build up. Let's get you back. And let's do the France Alliance. Because I think that's a good idea for now. He's at peace with England and with Burgundy. Uh, but if he can come to my aid during our time of need... I think it's uh, it's still a good call. Mm. 0.07. Actually not bad. Um, my guy from Moonster is back. We cannot get a claim. Pomerania is actually interesting as well. Uh, who's, who are my alliances at the moment? France, Austria, Saxony, Thierry and Castile. Uh, Saxony is most likely the one that I will drop eventually and get like Pomerania. Who hates Brandon D. Yeah, he, he's probably stronger now. Pomerania. Get an alliance, remove Saxony, get into his territory. So we should be starting to build up against Saxony. But first things first. We are very close at getting to the top. And then it's time to go to war. Even though we're, we're barely losing, I'm so happy about that. And uh, we can... Hopefully kill this right away. Uh, but we'll see. And just occupy his lands. Deal with Leech. And Tier will deal with Hesse hopefully. I think he will. Are we at 100%? Yes we are. It is time to declare. A conquest. And uh, let's ask Tier to join us. Take Munster. And now start building up. Against him once he is returning. Let's start sending you in. Let's get a day. Build up against Saxony. And let's see. He is actually going to deal with that. That is great. We do get a negative one. But we are just outnumbering him like crazy. Hesse is being improved upon. Come on, that's done. So, let's detach. And go after this. Oh, yeah, he moved. Uh, he lost all of those trips. So, here we go. This is what we wanted. Uh, he is actually going towards Tier because he's being sieged down. He will win that. He's locked in now. Where are you heading? I don't see any combat signs. So, you're going to Hessen. Why? Are you moving out? Not that I mind. You are getting garrisoned. Oh, I should have done that right away. I didn't. It's not the best of ideas. We'll raid this territory. And I just want to make sure that Hesse will fall. Although this is a level 1 fortress, right? So do we need all of these trips? I think just this should be enough. And my general is not a siege general.
Should we just keep you over there? Like the 7k. We'll just keep moving. Actually, I was thinking just move into Hesse. What will he do? Actually, let's move over there. What will you do? Okay, we'll just occupy this then. And uh, we're still ticking, right? Since this is a level 1 fortress, yes. And there's the 9k of Leech. Now, once this all falls, we can just focus on, on Leech. And Tia will most likely just focus on whatever is happening with his country. So, that fell. Hmm. So, let's go back to our troops. Yeah, we'll just um, reinforce this. And we should win. Just kick those troops out. I think we did this quite nicely. I'm quite pleased with the progress. You are heading most likely over here. So, we'll just follow you. And we could go and deal with the other troops. What's this? So, diplomatic insult from Tier. A clone gains a claim on the Sao. Or lose the prestige. I kind of want to take the prestige hit for now. Since he is currently my rival and I don't really need to claim on the Sao. He's been very kind in my wars. So, yeah, we'll just raid this. And the fort is almost falling. How is the um, the treasury over there? Still losing 0.4. This is just an easy victory. Come on now. There you go. Where are you going? Let's go deal with that. There we go. Stack wipe. And I don't want to go too far ahead with this. So let's pull back. Keep my forces closed. They can build up anyways. Just go stand above, around here and raid. They still have some money we actually desire. And more troops from Tier. Actually, it's uh, it's a good amount. Actually, this is a nice time to stop the, uh, the episode. So the nobility is back. And I'm quite happy with this. Ooh, of course. Yeah, we're going to be pissing off someone again. Land theft. Mm. I kind of think that taking a hit with the clerisy would be the better option. Since we can make a generous donation to improve their loyalty. But we can take the admin. And I kind of want the admin. We could also just give some territory to make them happy. But let's side with the nobility. Um, let's take a look actually. The burgers. Let's give you this. And the clerisy. Give you this. So and everyone's happy again. And that's just uh, putting a smile on my face. <laughs> so this war is going well guys thank you for watching i hope you're enjoying yourself and i'll see you next time have a good one bye bye